Um, the older guys, the coaches, um, our fan base, everybody. It's uh, it sucks. You're, we're right there. Um, went to overtime. You know, had an opportunity. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it sucks. But I mean, that's the game that we play. Um, and you got to find find a way to sort of have it fuel you and and have that roll in the next year, like with that taste in, the, in your mouth. So. Um, yeah. Have you watched it back yet, or still kind of too fresh to? to yeah, I, I haven't even watched it yet. So, it's still, it's just all the emotions and stuff from the season, and um, just showing my love to my guys, my teammates. That's where that's where my focus has been. But when the time is right, I'll watch it. And is, there, is there a play um, that sticks out to you? Uh, you know, a gr regret that you have about a play that um, you possibly was there that. Guys just couldn't make. Um, I mean, I, there's things that happen, you know, throughout the game, like second half. I just wish, you know, we would have been on, um, you know, with the opportunities that we had with, you know, their turnovers or our defense getting stops. Uh, I just keep thinking about, you know, those three and outs that we had and um, one opportunity we had to go take, you know, take control of the game. And so um, you know, there's, there's a couple plays where, you know, I think I would have hit BA on some of the some of the reads. Um, but outside of that, it's just a culmination of the whole game. Like, you could have done a million things, right? And so, um, at the end of the day, it's a team sport, man. And, and uh, as a team, like, I think we all could have done a little bit better in, in some areas and stuff. But, um, you know, we win and lose together. So You mentioned, you mentioned the, uh, the Chiefs playing man-to-man -man coverage, a lot more man-to-man -man coverage than you were expecting. Was that one of the reasons why, you know, maybe the, the throws to BA and the throws to Debo were... Um, you know, not, not as uh, prevalent as they as they normally are. Um, yeah, I think you know just whatever our play call was, um, and then obviously them playing man. It, maybe it wasn't something that we were just weren't expecting a whole lot of, and and um, they. You know, it's a credit to the Chiefs, you know, secondary. They did a good job with you know getting hands on our guys pretty early, and and really just sticking like being sticky and being right on them. So um, that's just sort of how it goes. I think we all have to learn from it and understand. You know what we can do better next time because I feel like teams will obviously watch it and try to have that kind of plan for the next season. So um, that's just sort of how it went. We got to learn from it, but I still feel like regardless, like we still had opportunities to win the game um, outside of the, you know them just playing man coverage. But they did it well, and just credit to them. Right. Robert, that's yeah, from McDuffie on that play. In hindsight, were you supposed to go to Juwan there, or if you had known, you know, pre-snap that McDuffie could be coming, could you have gone to IE? Um, yeah, I mean, like regardless, I'm supposed to read it inside out. Um, J JJ was hot, and I um, feel like you know going to him in a man-to-man -man situation is sort of what I was thinking. Um, but with yeah, him blitzing, there's a I think there was an opportunity for me to hit BA there, and um, that's something that I have to learn from and and uh, be real with myself about. It. I told BA obviously like man, you know, wish I wish I would have hit you there, or at least attempted to go to you. Um, but I mean, at practice, I've hit the outside slant a million times in that coverage, cover zero, and, and having our receiver win outside. And um, and obviously, I trusted JJ to win a, a contested ball like like it was gonna be. So um, that's just what happened in the moment. They had right. nine times they had free runners coming through the game. And I know sometimes that's just a numbers game. You know, you can't get enough blockers on. But were there communication issues at all with protection or anything that you could sense throughout the game? I mean, yeah, there were some things, but that's just, you know, the game of football, man. You know, defenses do a good job of disguising things or dialing things up and catching us off guard. Um, I feel like everybody's mindset and the offense going into the game was, was where it needed to be. We are prepared, but, um, you know, the Chiefs did a good job scheming things up and, and, like I said, like catching us off guard at some points. And, you know, that's part of the game. That's football. So for me to have to move around and extend stuff if, you know, there's a guy up the middle or whatever, like that's part of it. Obviously, um, you don't want that to be the case all the time, but um, you know they, they did a good job. But Brock, that's just how it went. Sorry, when, on the third and four, that you're talking about. I mean, Chris Jones was on you fast, but you're saying you still could have made a quicker decision. Is that right? Uh, uh, I think that was a different. Are you talking about the? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, different uh, ones. My yeah, bad, my yeah. Bad. Uh, that yeah. one. Third, you saw? Yeah, third and four at the nine in overtime. overtime. In overtime. Yeah, I mean that one. Yeah, that was that was a tough situation there. Um, you know, I don't know if I could have made a quicker decision or not. I was trying to be safe with the ball, and um, obviously JJ opened up, but 
I didn't know where the corner was at by the time I, I released the ball. And I was trying to be safe and smart with it and knew that we can get a field goal on the next down. So that's where my mindset was at. But just throughout the game before that, there were some other plays where you know, it happens and you got to make a play. So that's what I meant by that. Were you aware of the new overtime rules in the moment that the Chiefs were going to get the ball back no matter what? Or were you under the impression you were driving down for the win potential? Uh, no, I knew. Uh, before that, I asked Greasy on the sideline before we went into overtime, like, hey, just to clarify, like, what are the rules? And he goes, it's the playoffs. So he explained the rules to me and everything. So I, I had an understanding of it. Brock, do you have to Brock do when any, you woke up Monday of... morning, what was the first thing you thought of? Um, obviously the game, you know, uh, us, you know, how, how we came up short. Um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a sucky feeling, but um, I also am trying to have the perspective of, all right, this is happening for a reason. You know, it's all part of all of our stories and stuff and, and our testimonies. So um, that's sort of the hope that I have for it. And, and more than anything, just being grateful for the kind of season that we had with the guys in this locker room, this team, this organization. Um, you know, we got to the Super Bowl. We went to overtime. We fell short of it. It sucks. We, we wanted it. We gave our all this year. But, man, did it. I, I, had the, I had the opportunity to do it with some really good people, and I'm thankful for that. What kind of maintenance do you have to do on your arm? this offseason, Brock, and obviously it's going to be, you'll have more time, I would guess, to prepare for this coming season since you won't be going through full rehab like last year. Yeah, it'll be nice to, you know, sort of work on my craft, um, get a, a real legit offseason in. Um, obviously last year, season ended, surgery, rehab, trying to get back for the season, so it was just all so fast and going a million miles an hour, so for me to be able to take a step away for a little bit and then um, I think just work on my mobility, um, obviously c continuing with my arm strength and, and all that will be huge for me. So I'm excited, you know, to get better, like truly get better at my craft. Bob, you've talked about how important it is for you to play well for the veterans. Have you had any conversations with Trent, Christian, the veterans that are on the team? After the game? Yeah, I mean, I just talked to him and um, more than anything, I was just telling him, I think, like, thank you for, you know, what you've done for the team, uh, for myself, for this organization, and, and uh, that, you know, I'm sorry, you know, we couldn't get it done because I, I wanted it so bad for them. You know, they put so much time into this league, and, you know, to get this kind of opportunity of playing the Super Bowl is rare. And um, like I said before, like, I hurt for those guys, man. You, you want it so bad for those kind of guys. And so, um, more than anything, I was just telling them I'm sorry, and I pray that we can have an opportunity again together to get back and, and, and finish it, so. Brock, when you say you're excited about you know, the opportunity to get better at your craft this off season, what are you referring to? Like, what, what area do you think that you can make strides in? I mean, I think just physically, you know, with, um, I think my arm strength, um, and I always say mobility, but really like my shoulder mobility, my hips, just being able to move better, you know, and um, I feel like, you know, my, my rookie year, I was pretty tight. Um, and then I had surgery, so my focus was on my arm. So I feel like I could just be a little bit more elusive and stuff and how I move, and that's something that I want to get better at. Um, and then just mentally within the playbook, man, I think year after year getting better and more comfortable with the system and, and how Kyle is calling things and, and um, you know, go back on film and look at situations where I can learn from and be better in situational football. So those are all things that you can add up and, you know, hopefully I can get better at. Do you think the running, the running part of it, like you showed against the Lions, do you think that can be become more of a kind of one of your calling cards or something that you can do more successfully next season? Uh, we'll see. I mean, obviously I'm going to continue to work at, you know, my, my explosiveness and speed. I've, I've always done that. And so um, if that becomes part of the game, so be it. But